Today I want to talk about airless paint sprayers like this Graco handheld which I bought about three years ago. And as you can see, it's pretty well used. Hi, I'm Chris Ermides. I'm going to review this sprayer because it's the one I have the most experience with. But there are a lot of sprayer options out there from companies like Graco, Wagner, and Titan. I chose this sprayer when I needed to paint some kitchen cabinets. It's price point at $270. The fact that it can spray upside down and that it holds 42 ounces of paint at one time all factor my decision. Now I've always appreciated the smooth, flawless finish that Morrow and his team have achieved on our projects, but I was intimidated by the thought of spraying myself. This sprayer got me over that hesitation. This model, the True Coat 360 VSP, is in the higher end of Graco's DIY class of sprayers. They offer a pro level class called the TC Pro, which runs 470 for the corded version and 580 for the cordless version. There's another one that sprays solvents for 800 bucks, but that's really for pros. Back to this VSP handheld. It's recommended for small projects like built-ins and trim. I've used it to paint doors, crown molding, base molding, window and door casings, built-ins, beadboard walls, and it excels at all of these things. It comes with two tips, a 12-inch tip and a 4-inch tip, and that refers to the fan of spray. Now that's one drawback from this handheld versus the pro level one, which has all interchangeable tips with their other guns. So you get a wider variety of fan sizes. I didn't find that a limiting factor for the work that I was doing, but if you're doing a lot of trim work or a lot of finish work on decks and deck railings, fences, things like that, you might wanna have more options, but four inches and 12 inches for kitchen cabinets, cabinet doors, beadboard walls, trim, and general doors like I had to do, it, I had no problem. The other difference between the DIY project series of these sprayers and Graco's TC Pro versions is in the pump. This comes with a stainless steel pump that you can't replace or repair. The other TC Pro versions, those do have replaceable pumps. So. This is really meant for spraying no more than 25 gallons a year and you know, occasional use, nothing heavy duty. But if you're a pro, you definitely wanna go look at those other options because this thing, you're gonna burn the motor out probably very quickly for the work you do. I like that this handheld can hold 42 ounces of paint at a time. Some of the other versions are only uh, go up to 32 ounces. And I just found, although it's a lot heavier when you fill this at first, it's, it's, definitely, it's definitely heavy and your hand gets tired after, after using it for a while. It's nice to not have to switch out liners uh, and, and refill the paint a lot. The liners are reusable or you can throw them away, whichever you want. I have kept mine and they've done fine. I've used them multiple times. I've bought some extras and, and they've all worked well. One of the nicest features about this sprayer in all of Graco's handhelds is that you can spray it upside down. When you're painting inside cabinets and doing things like that or painting crown molding, it's really nice to be able to not worry about the direction of the sprayer. The VSP of this refers to the speed at which the paint comes out and that's in relation to how quickly you're moving. So at lower speeds, if you're not careful, if you're moving too quickly, it can create lines in your, in your finish. So you wanna adjust according to how you're working. I've kept mine in the eight to nine to 10 range for the work I was doing. One thing to note when you're spraying is that it's very easy to put on too thick a finish, particularly if you're doing a whole, uh, vertical service. So be aware of that, be aware of the paint that you're using. I used a Benjamin Moore Advanced Enamel for the finish on my cabinets and the look is really flawless. It was very easy to spray. I sprayed their primer and I did have some issues with dripping with that. As a total novice painter, particularly novice when it comes to spraying, there's some things that you need to just look out for. But don't be intimidated by it. The, people say, 
the biggest thing with spraying is all in the prep. Well, Morrow says all the time that everything's in the prep, 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 prep. You hear him say it all the time on the shows and I've heard them on the job sites. So prep is inevitable in every kind of painting you do. Now you do have to mask off anything you don't want to get paint on, but I'm telling you, you do that, you spend an hour or so, or two hours even masking everything off in a room, and you're done painting in, sometimes in minutes. I didn't experience any orange peeling with this spray gun. I didn't have any issues with overspray when I was aware of the area I was working in and when I had masked everything off. But you do get more control with the TC Pro versions where you have more tip options. So just be aware of that. So as a recap, if you're gonna paint your kitchen cabinets, if you're gonna paint any built-ins, if you're gonna paint doors and trim in your house, I highly recommend getting a handheld I recommend this particular version from Graco. If you have bigger projects to do, if you have more projects and you're gonna be doing more than 25 gallons a year, then I definitely recommend you spend the extra money and get the TC Pro version. I hope that was helpful. Don't be intimidated by spraying paint. Until next time, I'm Chris Ermides. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.